Okay, and you were mentioning something about a fluff tour. I talked to your wife earlier, and she said there's some type of a chemical that is available that uh, a dairy could put in the lagoon or around the lagoon that could actually mask the smell that comes off the lagoon. Is it, I, what, it, what, what was she referring to? I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah, um, they were trying to talk to us about that before, that there's chemicals they can dump in to uh, lower the smell. And they also have these aerators, or not an aerator, but they have these little sprayers that sp spray this stuff in the air, and it changes the molecules of the smell. So your nose, it tricks your nose, and they've been spraying that over at the dairy too. And uh, What does that do to that harmful gas, though? Does that uh, make the gas go away by any chance? Absolutely not. It, tr it makes it so you can't smell it. It's still there. So the gas doesn't change? No, absolutely not. All it does is tricks your nose to where you can't smell it? Yes, sir. So um, so with these readings, what, what did the health department tell you about the readings that they took out here at this area? Uh, the health department was amazed. They had never seen readings like that before. Um, did they say it was unhealthy to... Yeah, to they, they asked us to leave our homes. So you were actually had to move. Yeah. You actually had to evacuate. Is that, I think that would be a good word for it, wouldn't it be? Yeah, we, we, uh, we left on their advice um, and went and stayed with my mom and dad. And uh, we spent the night in a motel in town, too, um, at the American Inn. And, uh, yeah, it hasn't been fun. We keep our bags packed by the back door so when the, if the plume does come, because it's very dangerous, especially for small children and you know, my family's everything to me. I've got a beautiful three, well, he just turned four on Saturday, four-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl who's going to be six in September. And, you know, they don't know the long-term effects of this. And now the barn is dumping in some biological bugs. And uh, the MPCA was arguing today that they've never been tested. Well, biological bugs, I don't understand what you're talking Some about here. Biological bugs and bacteria that are supposed to eat the manure in the in the lagoon. And, and uh, basically they're using us as guinea pigs. Um, this has never been tried and tested before. It's not approved by the MPCA. The MPCA did not give them uh, approval to do this. They put in these aerators that actually blows the manure up into the air. And then they dumped like... 900 gallons of bugs of these biological bugs they when say did, when did you find out about the bugs um just uh, a few weeks ago wow did uh let me ask you a question when uh, they restarted the dairy and you had there was problems with the previous dairy and then the new dairy came in with mr milner and his dirty or excuse me dairy dozen uh, uh group there uh, did they go around and make any kind of promises to the neighbors about uh, what it was going to be like and smell like and, and what type of neighbors they would really be? Oh yeah, they gave us all these promises just like the first dairy did. They were going to hire all these college graduates and, and uh, it's going to be great for the community and uh, it's not going to smell. Boy, it doesn't smell. It's not going to smell. They've had nothing but problems with their dairies, I think, in every state, and and uh, the, they've broken every promise that they possibly could have. Every everything they said has totally went exactly 180 backwards. Everything. H have you ever tried to contact Mr. Milner about uh, about the problems over here to have him try to solve these problems or to try to correct them or try to, you know, try to you know try to be a good neighbor? Oh yes. Well, when you made those, have you made phone calls to him? Yeah, they, he don't call you back. The the people live out of state. They they don't they don't care. What about the people that the big selling point over in our area, over in Carrington, North Dakota, is the fact that the, the reason why all the local leaders are pushing it is because of all this economic development. We've been told that uh, they're going to employ people at uh, twenty dollars an hour, and they're going to have. Uh, 20 of them there working at this place. So if you figure that out, that's 20 people times uh, $20 times uh, 40 hours in a week if they're working 40. So they're going to be adding $16,000 $16, worth of payroll yeah. to the community. 
What, and, and they're going to be employing local people. Is, is that what happened up here with, uh, is that the promise that was made and is that what occurred? Oh yeah, the, it was all going to be great for the community and everything, but uh, the actual facts of the matter is, is they bring in uh, um, people from out of the area, usually Hispanic people is who they usually bring. Okay. Um, people that uh, will do the work at a very low wage, work seven days a week, they, they pack them into small trailer houses and old farmhouses. I've heard they've char they charge them up to $150 a head for rent a month, and they'll pack 20 of them into a house. I wish I owned that house. Well, you say that they, they so, you know, so you're saying first of all that $20 an hour is probably just uh, is, is buying. That's not happening. They okay. will not be paying no one $20 and an hour. They're not Maybe hiring. one person, the head feed manager or something, but so, so no, they, that's not going to be a Spanish. Rich. Okay, when you say Hispanics, are these people that are English speaking people? Um, no, I, I don't believe there's any people who uh, speak English over there. Maybe one or two people that speak very choppy English, but the cows have gotten out and uh, they've had, the neighbors have had cows in their yards and the guys come and say, me, no English, no English, you know, and the neighbors have helped them chase the cows back to the barn and, and uh, you know, that the, them workers are ba basically, uh, I would say, treated like slaves. So these were probably, since they don't speak English, and and you've lived a long time in the Thief River area, right, haven't you? Mm -hmm. How long have you lived up in this area here? Right? Since I was born in 1970. Oh, okay. So, so I'd say that you're a pretty good expert as to how many Hispanic people that don't speak English that are in Thief River. So the likelihood that they hire the people out of Thief River is is uh, is uh, is impossible. Them people definitely were not hired from out of Thief River Falls. So they have like a network where they go or call somebody and they call their brother and the people come up and... So there could be a possibility these are undocumented workers? Um, yes. Okay. And so Thief River hasn't been, since this dairy's come back in, it hasn't, the streets haven't been paved with gold yet from the dairy, right? <laughs> no, I, I think the whole town is frustrated and the town is five miles away. Um, last it, well, that's a good, that's a good point. Uh, so, can the people in Thief River, they're five miles away, so I would assume that being five miles, you're a lot closer. It looked like you're about a little over a half mile away or right around a half mile. I'm 800 yards from the lagoon, about okay. a quarter mile. Yeah, but from where the, where the barn is, you're a little further out. But, yeah. Yeah. But let me ask you a question. So, Thief River, if it's five air miles to the edge of Thief River from where this dairy is, can they smell the dairy down the Thief River if the wind's blowing that direction? Yeah, last weekend there was a big cookout at St. Bernard's Church in Thief River Falls, and it's over five miles away, and uh, I guess uh, they packed up the grills and moved some of the stuff inside. I guess the dairy smelled bad in town all so, the way So they actually had to, they actually, the people that were planning a cookout actually had to change their plans, even though they were five miles away. Five miles. Because we've been getting the assurances up there that that our dairy, which is 2.5 miles from the city limits, okay, is never going to smell it. Would you believe that? I would not believe that, no. Okay. Well, we pretty much covered economic impact, and according to you, since you're from this area, you have not seen, you don't have a lot of Hispanic people down in town with pockets full of money going to the bottle shop or Arby's or or hitting in the grocery store. You don't see them in line at the grocery store all the time or going out to dinner, have you? No. So economic impact is almost nil. I would say the only ones who would profit from the barn is a farmer that grows corn from them, maybe one guy. 